A change coming to a youth event held in conjunction with one of the biggest arts festivals in the area. Leaders of the Central, Central Pennsylvania Festival of the Arts, which is held in State College, will no longer permit the sale of weapons in its children and youth sidewalk sale. Lauren Hensley talked to some leaders of the festival to find out the reasons for that change. Lauren? Well, Marty, there's already a list of restrictions in place. Some of those restrictions on what kind of booth you had have includes nail painting, face painting, and even hair braiding. But now weapons is joining that list of restrictions. People, including me, have been hit by projectiles. Flying marshmallows sent sky high by homemade projectiles amid a sea of art. This is just one of the complaints organizers have heard during the annual children and youth sidewalk sale. Children's day is pretty crowded out there. And you know, kids are kids. When they get a weapon, they want to try it out. And it's a little too dangerous to shoot off a Nerf gun or, you know, try out your new brand new medieval sword. The Children and Youth Sidewalk Sale is held the day before Arts Fest. It encourages creativity and allows children to sell their own art. Soaps are made from shea butter. Drawings and instruments made out of recyclables are just some of the booths visitors can see. <laughs> David Welsh has been running a booth called s and Arms with his twin sister for the last eight years that specializes in toy weapons like this sword and shield and now the new rule has forced them to close up shop i don't agree with the new rule i think that uh well first of all if you look at the product we're trying to sell i mean the product itself isn't exactly you know the most hazardous thing younger sister violet was supposed to take over the family business when she's old enough sometimes me and my friends like to play nights with them and stuff but now the family is unsure of what to do it has been a family thing my uh, my dad and my mom have helped too and i think that it was a really nice way to kind of take a hobby and turn it into something productive Arts Fest will be held July 9th through the 12th. Children's Day will be held on July 8th. Now, those who did specialize in making weapons, they're still encouraged to participate. They're just asked to find a new art and craft to sell at the fair. Reporting live, Lauren Hensley, 6 News.